Better a patient person than a warrior person. Yes, you had me right. Better a patient person than a warrior person. And this is coming from the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 32. When the word of God is released and there are some other, like the other Bible version that says better a patient person than a powerful person. And when you come to Forex trading, and I feel what is making people or what is preventing majority of people to succeed is lack of patience. Majority of people think Forex is a get rich quick. You want to start today and in one week you have made your first one million. You want to start today and maybe after a few months you have bought your car and you have bought your house and you're living the life. But you have to understand that Forex is an industry like just other industry. The way uh, we say if you want to become a doctor, you need seven years of learning. Maybe if you want to become a lawyer, you want you need five years of learning. When it comes to Forex, there's no difference. The process is still the same, guys. And the earlier you understand that, the better. So in today's video, I want, I want to discuss about trade psychology. And I want to help people because I've got so many questions people asking me. Yes, I have a good strategy, Esther. Yes, I am good in trading. My, I have the skill. But what happens is when I come to trade, there's a problem. I cannot hold enough. I exit early or I have fear and I decided, let me do a video and maybe you're watching me. Maybe the problem is not the skill because imagine thousands and thousands of videos that are recorded on YouTube, thousands and thousands of strategies that are released, but yet you're still not profitable. So in today's trade psychology, I want to be different and I want to give you an idea of how you can you can defeat that psychology when it comes to trading. And I know these videos have been done a lot, but no one bring the aspect of God. So I want to bring the aspect of God in your trade psychology. And we try to we try to focus on the real thing because remember where you focus, where you set your eyes upon. What you focus is what will help you. So can we focus for once? Can we try to focus on Jesus? Can we try to focus on the Holy Spirit and God? And at, at last will be helped. So if you're watching me and you feel like you have reached to your end, like you cannot, uh, you cannot tell why you behave the way you behave. The Bible says that, I, I, I don't know if it's Paul who was saying, I do the things that I don't want to do and what I want to do, I find myself not doing. That's the word. So when he was saying that, um, sometimes we will find ourselves, we are doing things we don't want to do in the market. You buy at the wrong time, you exit at the wrong time, you, you hold at the wrong time. But when it's the right time to buy, to hold all that, the market is favoring you, you avoid the market. That is the time you're saying, I'm not trading today. So... For me, I want to, to discuss trade psychology and I want to involve God because remember, the Bible says from the book of 1 John, 1 John verse 1, that in the beginning there was word and the word was, was, was God and the word was with God. So in the beginning, before even Forex, <laughs> there was the word and the word was God. So at the end of the day, if you want to really understand something very well, if you have ever been interested to understand the trade psychology, my like the approach I would really suggest that you take is the approach of God. God is the only one and I'm I'm, I'm so confident. God is the only one who can help you out of that mess. He's the only one who can change how you think. Remember from the book of Philippians chapter four, the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer, petition, and thus giving, let your request be known unto God. And the question is, how much is and how much anxiety do we get when we are trading? How much anxious do we get when you are trading? When the Bible is telling you, don't be anxious, do you find yourself, you're so anxious, you're so anxious about tomorrow, you're so anxious about your trade, you're so anxious about your new strategy, you're so anxious about your capital, like everything is revolving around what the word is telling you not to be. So if the Bible is saying, do not be anxious, 
do not be anxious about anything. Anything means even Forex. Because at the end of the day, if you want the word of God to work on you, you have to get the right revelation. So do not be anxious about anything. And for me, I feel Forex is one of them. Because again, the Bible says that everything shall come to an end, but the word of God shall remain the same. So everything else, even Forex included, shall end, but the word shall remain the same. So when the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. For me, I would because I am I'm, I'm, I'm a forex trader, I would say even this forex, I should not be anxious. And that's how you start healing. So um, I know I've talked a lot and I've not said uh, about trade psychology. Uh, what do you understand by trade psychology? And this is my own understanding. I know you can put your own understanding, but let me, from someone who has traded Forex for more than four years, I have something to tell you and may, it can help you. Trade psychology is the, is the study of the mind and the behavior of the mind, okay? Are we together? When you hear people say trade psychology, what they mean is that how is your behavior of your mind when you're trading? How do you think when you're placing that trade? What comes through your mind when you're saying buy, when you're saying sell? So if you can be able to monitor that and be able to know this is exactly what I'm thinking, this is exactly how I'm behaving. So um, uh, straight psychology, we can we can attach it to the emotions because the behavior of them, behavior of the mind is what the mind, of course, uh, give us. So it can give us emotions and I will tackle of one. So emotions can be either a negative emotions or positive emotions. Positive emotions are happiness, joyous, you're feeling peace, you're feeling you're feeling gratitude. But let me tell you, majority of people, those are not the emotions they feel when they come to trading Forex. And I will tell you the emotions that majority, like 99% of the people when they are trading, number one is fear. Number two is sadness. Like there's this sadness you feel because it's like you're entering the trade and in your mind, you're thinking, what if this $100 get lost? Like there's that sadness, you know, you know, sadness comes when you know you are losing something or you have lost something. For for many majority of traders, they they live in the state of like they have already lost. So already you are defeated even, even before you have entered the trade. So there's the sadness, there's the there is the anger. Sometimes you may feel a lot of anger. Maybe you had taken a loan. You can imagine you're a forex trader. You took a loan and then you, you took some trades. You blow that money. Now, when you come to trade again, what is the emotion at that moment? It can't be fear. Number one, it will be anger. You will feel so much anger because maybe you had taken a loan of a thousand dollars. You will start asking yourself, "What would I have done with this a thousand dollars? What? How would my life have? How would I have progressed if I if I didn't lose this money?" So you have anger. Then you have bitterness. Bitterness comes when when you when you're trading and you don't get it. When you're trying to trade and you keep doing the same mistake every single day what you develop the behavior you develop in your mind is bitterness you are so bitter with everything and when you're bitter be careful because you can change the love that you had for forex it can just flip on you and the majority of people who are bitter with forex when it stopped working for them Either they hate the Forex trader, they hate everything about Forex, and they turn and they start saying Forex is a scam, and they will do anything, anything to just destroy someone who is becoming successful. So these are the emotions that are brought by when you're trading Forex. And majority, maybe you have not even lost, but maybe you're dealing with fear because this is a new territory. You don't know you. Yes, you have had bad things, but what is holding you back is fear. Now, I want to tell you because if trade psychology is the behavior of the mind, what does the word say about the mind? What does the word say about the mind? I will give you two scriptures. The first scripture about the mind, the Bible says that as man thinking, so he is. As man thinking, think, so he is. That is a scripture I'll give you. The second scripture, and I will explain those two scriptures. The second scripture, 
is about I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Now, let's start with as man thinking because I want to help you with trade psychology and this is not the videos you have been watching. People will try to tell you, oh, work on your mind, do this, meditation, but they're not telling you the right things. They're not telling you that for you to have the right mind, you have to understand what do you think? Because as the man thinks, so he is. You become your thought. So if I'm getting into a trade and I think I will lose, definitely you will lose. If you enter into a market and you're thinking, oh, the, the loan that I took and I'm trading, what if it get lost? The minute you start imagining, you start thinking, you start building your thoughts, that's what you become. So because now I've given you a secret how to defeat trade psychology when you're coming to trade, first work on your mind. You have to have a very positive, positive thoughts about trading. You have to start seeing trading as something that will give you freedom, financial freedom. You start seeing, uh, you close your eyes and you can only say, this Forex is a gift, is a channel, is a bridge to take everything that God has promised me. Remember what the word has said, that we have all blessings all blessings are for us. Everything that we want is already given to us, is already given to us. So the question is, you are here and the blessings are there. They are already given to you. So how will you reach those blessings? So you have to first understand that your thoughts will attract. And that's why that scripture that says that I will do exceedingly abundantly above all you think or imagine what you think or imagine through the power that is in work in you. So you have to understand there is the power that is in work in you. So for you to become profitable, it won't take Esther Mofri to make you profitable. Yes, you can watch my videos. Yes, you can be inspired. But at the end of the day, you have to make that decision. You have to start constructing new thoughts in your mind. Start creating new thoughts in your mind. Start saying, by the way, I'm capable. By the way, I'm worth it. By the way, I will make it. By the way, I can do it. Because as much as you think, as much as you think as a winner, and then remember what I have told you from Proverbs 16, 32, that patience, a patient person is better than a warrior person, than a powerful person, is because when you're meditating, when you're thinking, you're not in a rush. Guys, you're not in a rush to make it. Forex is not a get rich cook. You are in a state of peace. You are in a settled place because you already know that abundance, the life, the good life, everything good is already with you. It's not, it's not uh, dropping from somewhere. It's already in you. So the bigger part that you have to do is to know how to tap is to know how to connect. That is the biggest part you have to do, is to know how do I connect? Yes, I it is there, but how do I connect? So when you come to trading, already that mindset, your mindset is so clear. You already know what you want to do. And you, you already know, I have 2024, 2025 to, to understand my strategies. I need you just keep your goals. Like you say, this month, this is my goal. I just want $200. You're not pushing. You're not saying I want to make a million. Just say, I want $200 and I'm good. You just keep uh, targeting. Your mind is right and you know you can make it. And that's how you do it. So as man thinking, I'm, I'm giving you trade psychology according to the word of God. So as man thinking, so he is. So you have to understand the mind, the thoughts that you come in when you're trading is very, very important. And the last uh, scripture that I will give you how to defeat trade psychology when you come to Forex trading is I have the mind of Christ. So if we have defined trade psychology as the behavior of the mind, is how the mind thinks, is how the mind behaves, if, is what goes into your mind. And then you read from the word of God that I have the mind of Christ. The question is, now who is thinking? Is it you or Christ in you? So when I find a, a problem, do you allow whoever, the mind of Christ to resolve it for you? 
do you consult the mind of Christ? Because if I start saying I have the mind of Christ, of course, there's the way the mind of Christ will start working on me. Okay, so I want you to proclaim those two scriptures because once you become one with those two scriptures, nothing will make you worry in forex. The Bible says that anything, cacaoms, caterpillars, anything that has been eaten, anything the devil has been taken, you will be restored. So when you lose the money, why are you depressed? Why become depressed because you have lost money? Let me tell you, let me give you an advice. When you lose money, rejoice. When you lose properties, rejoice. When you lose things, rejoice. Because these things are replaceable. They can be replaced. I can lose a thousand dollars today and God can replace it tomorrow. So when you lose money, why are you so depressed? Why are you so angry that you lost that $1,000? Why are you so angry, angry that no, you're in debt because you lost money in Forex? You cannot move forward as long as you don't let go. You have to let go of that loss. Yes, I know it is painful. You have lost all your savings. I know it is painful. You have lost so much money trading Forex. Yes, I know you have lost so much years because there are those who lost, who lose money and there are those who lose time. Because if I lose time, I will never recover my time. But if I lose money, I can recover my money. So as long as whatever you lose, do you know the Bible says what? That I shall restore. I shall restore. So you first need to go to that word where it says, everything you have lost, I will give it in double portion. You have first to tell your mind that I need to be, this scripture and this, this scripture needs to be one in my spirit. And you, you start now meditation. And I feel that is the last thing that everyone should do. You have to do a lot of meditation. For you to have a very good, good street psychology, you have to do meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditate day and night. Meditate, take one word, meditate upon it. Meditate, meditate. Because why would you allow the natural circumstances de de determine who you are? Because Forex is a natural circumstances. It's not spiritual. It's not, it's not something that it's it's something that from a spiritual perspective we can change it. But you see, God cannot intervene if we have not grown our mindset. Today, if you start saying, I will die, I will die, I will die, <laughs> there is nothing that God cannot can do about it as much as He's so big and so powerful. We have to understand that the power is in our tongue. The power is in our mind. Whatever we say, we call, affirm those things. The Bible says that life and death is in our mouth. So choose life. And even God is telling you, choose life. So for me, imagine that's how I have overcome trade psychology. That's how I've overcome fear. That's how I overcome anger. That's how I, over I overcome bitterness. That's how I overcome when, when sometimes I waste a lot of time trying to understand a concept and I see it's like I'm losing more time. Like why would I take two, three years understanding one concept? Why could I not understand it in just a single day or a single week? I always understand that whatever the enemy has meant for evil, God has turned it around for good and everything happens for good for those God loves those who love God and I understand that my situation is not permanent I also understand that pain is a gift I also understand that um the battle that I'm fighting is not a physical battle but as a spiritual battle and the war that we go to fight is not a war that is a natural war is a spiritual war because already the enemy can see if this person becomes a great trader, 
if he continues making money in this market, he will sustain the kingdom of God. He will help the needy. He will help the widow. He will help the community. So you are the threat to the enemy because he can project and see if this person becomes so good and start making so much money, his heart or her heart is so generous that so many people will benefit. So you, you are calling something trade psychology, you're angry, you're angry, and you don't know this is more than spiritual. Anyway, guys, I hope I made my point clear. From now henceforth, when people talk of trade psychology, you already know that you're not dealing with the behavior of the mind naturally. But as long as you have the mind of Christ, as long as Jesus left a, a helper, our counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has always been my mentor since day one, since day one, because for me, there is no way I would have done Forex by myself. So understanding that Holy Spirit is your mentor, understanding that Jesus has become your wisdom, understanding that the God, the Father created you in his own image. So you are a God here, like there's nothing that should make you worry and anything that happens in your life is happening for good. And no weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. So it will come. It will come. But will it prosper? No. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to me. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love.